All right, and welcome back to the next episode of this Pat's Plays. Um, we're going to be continuing on with our previous mission of collecting a Zigzagoon to add to our team. That is the goal right now, uh, as we're progressing through the main story, obviously. And uh, I'm just going to completely ignore whatever Pelop we're putting there, because I don't want that. Uh, we're just going to go pick up some missions. It's been a little while since I've recorded another, an episode of this, so I might need to refresh my memory a little bit on uh, exactly what we have here. But again, we don't want to um, do any of the Tiny Woods uh, missions. We just want to do Thunder Wave Cave and Mount Steel. We have a lot of Mount Steel today. That's actually really good. Um, so we'll definitely be going in there. Let's see what we have for our job list. Okay, so one Thunder Wave Cave. We can do, I think, a maximum of four in Thunder Wave Cave. So that's not too bad. I think we might just go to Mount Steel in all honesty, because uh, we already have four missions. Uh, we could do, I think, a maximum of seven in Mount Steel. Because uh, you almost never... I think you can generate your own Wonder Mail code for uh, for the first floor of any dungeon, but you'll actually never get one that's... Um, um, that's like like going to be like randomly generated. So we're going to go ahead and put those apples away. Um, I think we don't need... Actually, you know what? We're going to put away those seeds, dude. Uh, sleep seeds, too. Um, we'll put those away. Uh, but I think other than that, the gravel rock 10's fine. Uh, and, like, the three apples is fine. I really don't think that we're going to need them all that much. But might as well hold on to them just in case that we do a little bit of grinding in there. Uh, let's go see what is over here. Uh, oh, Max, look at this, not bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy that. Um, we also will pick up that Orn Berry. That Orn Berry is pretty good. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of Reviver Seeds there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have enough gold to actually purchase one of those, and we'll go check out the bank. Let's see. Uh, yes, and that would be all of my money, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, early on, like, money is so tight, uh, that uh, really um, you have to kind of be aware of what you're going to be buying with it. Re Reviver seeds are almost always the best option, and then after that, max elixirs and orb berries are, are not bad either. Um, stun seeds are, are okay, um, but you just you know they're not as good as the other the other three that I mentioned. So we're just going to pick up that. Might as well just hold on to it now. I don't don't really think that we're going to be getting our bag maxed out as we go into uh, uh mount steel here so uh i don't think i showed this off last time so what i'm actually going to do here is show uh if you go down to others you can go down to recruitment search now and it'll tell you who you can recruit and who you have recruited um so that, that gets like patched a little bit in the um later iterations of the game um to be the it changes a couple of recruitment things in like um explorers uh so number one in this game, you can only recruit base form Pokemon, so I can't actually recruit, um, and you'll see this later on, like, like, uh, Silcoon and Cascoon, for example, you, you can't actually recruit those Pokemon, because they are in evolved form, so you have to get Wurple, which is really actually fairly difficult to get, because, uh, it originally spawns in Tiny Woods, but you can't recruit anything in Tiny Woods, so you can see where this becomes a problem. Then there's, like, Pidgey and, uh, the other, and Seadot, like, the other stuff that kind of spawns there. Um, which I, I think is kind of a little bit bogus, to be honest. I, I, I don't really like that as a mechanic, where in the first area you can't recruit anything. Like, I get that for, like, I don't think you should be able to recruit stuff right off the start, that's fine. But the fact that you can't, like, retroactively go back there and recruit things, there's no reason to then accept any contract from the first, first zone. Um... And I mean, once we get the second zone, there's no real reason, or the fourth zone, there's no real reason to accept contracts from the second zone. Uh, unless you're going for completion and just trying to get all the Pokemon in there. So that, that's a little bit of a bugaboo of, of mine when it comes to this uh, game, actually. But aside from that, uh, the, the other thing that changes with recruitment in the... Uh, the second game, so Explorers uh, series, is um, they just have one list, and it's, I think, yellow if you've recruited them, and white uh, if you haven't. 
So that's just like a, a little bit of a quicker and easier way to kind of denote whether or not you've gotten that, that specific Pokemon. Also, recruitment is based off of your level relative to... Uh, actually, I don't know if it is relative to your Pokemon's level, but I do know it's based off of your level, as well as if you have certain IQ skills, or if um, you, you're holding like a friend ribbon, in this game at least. Uh, in the remake, which honestly, if you have the option to play... Uh, the, if, if you have money, obviously, and you can either buy the remake, you can buy uh, this, you can buy uh, red or blue. I mean, they're functionally the same. Uh, then I would definitely recommend getting the remake, Pokemon uh, Rescue Team D or, or DX, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I actually own that. It is a super fun game. I, I own um, I own Red, and I own DX, and I own Sky. Um, of the three, I think Sky is the most fun. Uh, I'll say that. But uh, I used to own Blue. Blue is actually my first Rescue Team game, but my mom sold it when I was like 17. Because she didn't understand that I liked that game. Uh... <laughs> But, um, with that, let me see, what were they saying? Oh yeah, um, so in Rescue Team DX, it kind of combines that idea that you can recruit, uh, second stage Pokemon, actually, in that game, uh, that you get from, like, Explorers and stuff, because, like, in Explorers, you can recruit second stage Pokemon, but, um, in this game, like I said, you can't, you have to uh, recruit first stage Pokemon, uh, and also, it increases, so so you can take uh, up to, I think, four Pokemon, or no, you take up to three Pokemon into a dungeon at a time, and that's your core team. Then, you can recruit up to an additional five Pokemon when you when you get to that dungeon, so which so you just have these, like, massive teams of just randos you find in there. It makes you recruiting and filling out, like, you're, you're like, doing the completion, 100% completion, so much easier. Than, uh, than like the previous game. Ooh, my set move cannot be used. Um, let's see. Moves. So, at, like, you're probably noticing one of the issues with this, uh, with like playing in this game. Uh, I, oh, I'm screwed. I hate getting confused and stuff. Um, so, confusion, I can't swap positions with Totodile. And I attack in just a random direction every time I use an attack, so using PP here is, like, actually not viable. Um, so... And you, and, like, you can actually hurt your teammates if you hit them with a move, so that's another thing that you kind of want to avoid. Um, so if you get confused in a corridor door like that, it really sucks. Um, because you just kind of have to sit there and just take a beating while, uh while you can't really do anything in return. So as you see out there, I was just kind of like, just using the basic attack, just to try to uh, get through. Right, let's take out the six again. I get really excited every time I see one, and then I don't recruit it, and I get really sad. Um, because I think it only appears in the first half of this dungeon. I think this is like the last four, or something like that, that Zigzagoon's gonna pop up. So, that sucks. But, uh, at this point in the game, uh, the game's encouraging you to basically just take a bunch of, uh, different missions. Oh yeah, uh, one last thing with the recruitment is uh it also is based off of your your team level so if you have like i'm on normal rank right now but when i reach bronze rank i get a slight boost to uh, my ability to recruit um and then that continues on i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that's how it works in this game i could be wrong but uh i seem to remember that being the case Ooh, uh fun fact quick attack um you haven't seen me use it yet uh, but it is a uh, two tile move, so basically um, it hits Pokemon one tile before they're able to get into range A B for the most part. Uh, it also cuts corners, uh, which is really nice. Ember is another move that cuts corners, and and it tells you this in the move description. If you take a look at the move and you see what uh, what every move does, it'll tell you that in the actual move description that it cuts corners. Uh, but that's good Good knowledge to have is that uh, you can have these moves that are able to kind of hit Pokemon well before they're able to hit you. Um, so I'm going to be waking up both of them anyway, so I might as well just wake up one at a time. Uh, that's your killer. Fight is a hilarious move. It's terrible in this game. So whenever the opposing Pokemon use it, I think it's always super funny. Um, because it gives you at least two turns to kill, and usually you, you do. The, this game, as opposed to something like the mainline games, uh, 
realistically speaking, you're you're fighting resources less so than you're fighting um, like actual like tough opponents for the most part. I mean, there are bosses, and when I first played this game, I got stuck on the second big boss. Um, like, Skarmory is not really a boss, um, but uh, I did get I did get stuck I think on Skarmory the first time I played it for like one or two times. I did redo it. And that was like in an actual like uh, like a I think it was a Best Buy. <laughs> I was playing it. I, I first came into this game because I was playing it at one of the little uh, demo um, things that that like stores used to have, and um, I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to pick it up. And, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So the second uh, so like the bosses here are actually relatively difficult, but. Um, you know, for the most part, they're they're manageable. They're manageable. It's more so it's like running out of pee pee, running out of uh, apples to eat. You know, running out of just stuff in general uh, that you, that you don't have. Just consuming your resources. So like resource management is pretty big in this game, which is I think another reason why I actually enjoy it. Um, is it has this little combat aspect, which is really nice, and it's kind of in depth. But um, you always feel like a little bit stronger. Then, uh, okay, I might as well eat something now. Yeah, I've got nine. Okay. Um, and I'm only on the fifth floor, but I, I'm losing my hunger really fast because I've been full exploring every floor just to get every item. Um, because again, it's good to have a good stockpile of items before kind of like the mid game. Um, don't just try to blaze through this, unless you're like, you know, very good at the game. Uh, I could probably do that. Uh, if I really wanted to, is just kind of blaze through really fast. But I might as well pick up uh, the item. I don't really want this to be a like massive challenge for me moving through. So, but yeah, that's kind of the the, the gist of that recruitment aspect. So I think Zigzag is no longer an available Pokemon to, to to get, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. There's not like because you have to purchase friend zones. There's really not that many Pokemon you can get right from the start of the game, which kind of sucks. There's like a couple. Um, specifically, if you go to Thunderwave Cave, I think you can right from the get-go recruit every single one of those Pokemon because you get like the the Magnemite area. So that's always good to know. But uh, aside from that, like this this kind of stuff, I think you you have to basically buy almost every single one of these. Uh, these uh, friend zones, unless you start with Charmander, in that case you get Mount Cleft to start, which is nice. Um, and that way you can get Aeron for, for free, basically. You don't have to wait till the post game to get it, because otherwise you have to wait till the post game to get it, and then you have to buy Mount Cleft for like $12,000 or however much it is, or, <laughs> or something like that. So it's, it's rather expensive. A lot of the post game uh, zones are very expensive to get, and usually they're. Um, Oh, well, I'm going to switch, and I'm going to use a Max Elixir, so this is why I bought that. Um, but, um, why didn't you hit him with your, your water gun? Do you not have water gun enough? Hold on, let me check this. Oh, he doesn't even have water gun, he just has scratch. Okay, well, that sucks. Um, anyway... I have no idea what I was talking about. We're just gonna move on. Uh, outside of the game, I was actually talking to my wife today, and she, so she was a she was a big theater kid uh, back in the day, and uh, I was showing her pictures of the uh, fine arts center at my old high school, and she was telling me uh, that it's significantly nicer than the fine arts center at our college. And she was saying something to the effect of, no wonder, you know, their their theater major is so small because you go to a high school that's got better amenities for that program at the actual high school than we do at the college. So the college feels like a downgrade. So you don't want to go to the actual college. You want to go somewhere else. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty fair. <laughs> uh, that's kind of how I felt when I when I saw the uh, the, the gym at, at our college. Is it's It was like so much worse than the actual gym at uh at my high school like just the amenities were just not there until they um built uh built a new one they built a new one i think when i was when i was a sophomore so like 
seven years ago at this point or something like that. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue on because I know there's no more 60 games up here, so I don't really care about exploring as much. Um, but yeah, so I, I didn't really personally care about it because I wasn't like exercising a whole lot my first year of college. As I'm sure like a lot of people don't. <laughs> I put on like the freshman 50, which sounds like a lot, but you also have to understand that I weighed like 120 pounds going to college. And I was 5'9, so like there's a bit of a bit of a uh, an issue there <laughs> on the opposite side from I think most people. I, I think I was just more so getting to a normal weight, which I've I think maintained. I think I've gained like 20 pounds since freshman year. 20, 20, 30 pounds, something like that. Um, but I think that's a that's a relatively healthy weight for me personally. So. But yeah, definitely had the yeah. We're gonna leave now because this is the last question. Uh, but yeah, definitely had the freshman fifty <laughs> when I was going into college. So anyway, so we're going. We went ahead and completed uh, I think four missions here. That's actually a pretty good slate. We got a max luck, so that's awesome. And we gained five. Rescue points. I need to check how many rescue points we have, because I think it's 10 missions to start will give you bronze rank. I'm actually really excited to see that 100, uh, 100 pokey reward that's, that's really good. Max Luxor is also really good, too. Um, oh, there you go. We went up in rank from normal to bronze, so we must have done 10, uh, 10 missions, then, at least. Which kind of makes sense, I think. So I think I think it's I thought it was 50 points to get to bronze from normal, which is really good. That's a, that's a good upgrade. Un unlike in the uh, subsequent games, when you rank up, you don't get a bag size increase, which kind of sucks. So you're always stuck with just the, the I think 16 slots. Um, and I think the second game you can get up to like 48 slots or something like that, or or, or like 56. It's ridiculous. You have so many items. Like there's almost no excuse for you to really be running low on items except for the fact that i think that the post game in that game is like almost significantly harder than the post game in this game like the actual post game not just like the challenge dungeons right um the post game in explorers of sky is fantastic and i highly recommend it the post game in this game is actually not bad um it's just i i think a little bit harder okay so what's going on this cat oh yeah this is i know what this is so he wants us to help his friend He's playing with Metapod, but he got lost in the woods. So now he's out in, I think, the fourth dungeon we actually go to, which is uh, a pretty nice dungeon. It kind of sucks for my team. It's a uh, grass bug themed dungeon. So there's not much that I'll, I'll be able to do. Uh, unfortunately, grass type just like straight up sucks for the whole game. Um, I can't really think of a single dungeon that grass is beneficial for until the post game. So, I, I yeah, no, it's just bad. It's just bad. <laughs> like the fact that I'm a grass type to start is not good. I mean, it's better than my partner being a grass type because then I can at least not die as much because I won't YOLO hard, as hard as your partner usually does. Uh, water's really good uh, in like the mid game, um, I think. Mid to late game, water's pretty good. Um, Fire's really good early on, as I'm sure you could guess, uh, considering how many steel types, for whatever reason, are at the beginning of the game, as well as uh, uh, clearly the grass types and the bug types. And it does, it gets pretty good in the mid game too. It's not actually not terrible in the mid game, uh, and then in the post game it, it kind of falls off. Uh, so we only have we have 378. I'm just gonna store all of it. So we're about to have our second like mini boss fight i would call it I, I consider like the real boss fights to be um i don't know can i buy anything here for 378 i don't think so yeah i think the cheapest is like 500 yeah and these are all the forests um so oh anyway. yep we'll take that yeah so the, the and the reason I say that is because there's not a lot of water dungeons, really, or like desert themed dungeons in in the in the main game in this game. 
in Explorers, there's tons, and it, it actually um, makes it a little bit more um, more even, I would say, because of that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, store a bunch of shit. Uh, uh, we don't really need that. Last seed we don't need anymore. It's kind of like not as good. Okay. Uh, no, we're gonna take out some stuff. We're gonna take out that. We'll take out that. And I'm gonna eat that. Um, and we'll take out a max elixir and a reviver seed. Yeah, that should work. Just in case um, something happens, and we need to make sure that our team is ready to go. So I think, you know, I think this is a pretty good episode. We're just going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys like the series, please do like and subscribe down below and comment which Pokemon you actually like me to add to my team. So with that, uh, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you next time.